Hey, this is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. Today we're going to be looking at ladder clamps. These are handles that are designed to help make carrying a ladder a lot easier. We've got three different styles here. We've got one that fits like a fiberglass extension ladder, and it'll fit some of the older aluminum extension ladders like we have right in front of us. Let's set that one down right here for now. Then we have one that will fit the little giant ladder, and it clamps on, and it'll do its thing. And then we have a third one that fits the ladder right behind me, kind of a, a, a residential fiberglass. Now these handles are all made of a very durable plastic material, and they can be used as not only as a, a handle to help carry the ladder, which gives you a finger grip that you won't be you know, cutting your fingers on the bottom, but it also could be used, utilized as a handle for hauling like five gallon buckets or something if you wanted to go that route. Kind of neat idea, but there's they're only going to work for certain ladders. So you're going to need to go to the website at ladderclamp.com and find out which one's going to be the best fit for your ladder and order that way because you just can't buy one and hope it fits on all of them because they are kind of designed for individual ladders. First off, we have an old aluminum ladder here. And we're going to start with the, the one that's meant for the fiberglass. It's got a little bit of a bigger bigger lip there, we'll call it, or a little jaw that's open. You can see this is, this is one that's going to work on the ladder behind me. This is one that we'll get here. I've tried to get that to fit on this one because the aluminum rails have a little bit of a bend at the bottom, so there's just absolutely no way the smaller jaw ones will fit. The larger ones, uh, the larger one will fit and it grabs everything, and now I have a handle. Would this be a good secure spot? Probably not because this, let's say if, I, if I'm setting the ladder, the ladder down and I push down a little bit, it pops off and it's really easy to be kind of kind of popping out and causing problems. Not something I would recommend for this particular ladder. It's an old aluminum extension ladder, but for a fiberglass one that's a little bit wider, this would be a great thing where you could go and it could fit and fit snugly. If this would fit on this ladder, like the others fit on the other ladders, it would really make sense. But this particular ladder is not a good ladder for the ladder clamp. So next we're gonna take a look at a traditional ladder. This is just a six foot fiberglass ladder residential and I'm going to use this one. Now there's two of them, the black one and this yellow one that have a little wing on them but they have the smaller jaw. You can kind of see that right there. And that will allow me to clamp it onto the thinner sides of this ladder. I wanna to try to find about the center point which is about here. And then I can come on and clamp, let's see. Put it on one side and kind of lift up, pivot around, push down, and lift this into place. And it, there it is. Now my handle is here. I've got my whole ladder and it's balanced pretty well so I can carry it basically to a point like a suitcase. Because it's only a six foot extension ladder, it's an, or six foot step ladder, it's not that heavy so I could easily carry this with one hand and off I go. Probably the biggest drawback in this particular one is that I, as a, having a little bit larger hand, I can only get three fingers in there, four is kind of crushed. So that's kind of a downfall, but I can carry my ladder and off I go. So this is really nice for this type of ladder. If you've got this ladder, this could be a great addition to, to the, um, your little, I think this is a Keller, Keller ladder. I've had this one forever, uh, a little Keller one, and I'm sure it would fit on many other uh, residential fiberglass units. This particular handle, once it's on there, could be used in a variety of different ways. It can be, I could move it actually, once I'm to my spot, I wanna slide it up a little bit higher, and I could actually use it, they show that you can hang a can of paint by it, and it's gonna sag a little bit, but it's still going to be caught on the, on the side. Or you can you know, stick a, a screwdriver in there or whatever, you know, just to, as a tool holder. It could be used for a variety of different things because when it's pulled down like this and it's still catching on the ladder, it's not going to go down more than you know, slide down to a step. So it would be an option. In this particular case, how we're going to use it that way, I would bring it up here, hook it, and I can put anything on here for weight and it's going to handle, you know, I think 75 pounds is what they can be. But the key is it's got to be hooked up here and it's got to be hitting on the step right here so that way it is uh, there and secure so kind of a neat idea for those times you want to hang something like a, a tool belt you could even hang that up there so you have all your tools at the top of the ladder the final ladder we're going to look at is a little giant ladder and that's where we have to go to the black the black uh, clamp and what it will do is the same thing as the others we're going to start on one side push that down and we can clip one side and kind of pivot it and catch the other side now we have the clamp in here with both hands or both sides of the handle and we're good to go. 
this one's fairly snug, so that's pretty cool. So we're, we're in a good position with that. And we'd have the same situation where if we were wanting to put a bucket on there, it can slide down to the step and it could be give us a little bit of security, but it's not gonna give us as much security on holding weight as the other because the steps are different on a little giant ladder. They're only gonna catch one side. That means that when this is pulling down and the weight, as you can see, the handle's gonna turn into us. So we're not gonna have as much security. In this particular case, if I were gonna use this on the ladder up at the top, I would probably only use it to hold like a screwdriver or something. I wouldn't put a can of paint as an example. The other downfall with this particular idea on a little giant ladder is my center of gravity is gonna be somewhere in here in the middle area. And I can move this a little bit. They're really snug, so it's tough to move. And if I put it as close to the center as possible, well, it's balanced, not it's not too bad. But this is way, way too heavy for a one, this is a 22 foot ladder, way too heavy for carrying with one hand over any distance. So yes, having a second one's great, but I can't put it up here because of the way the little bypass system of the extension on the little giant ladder. So I really should have one here and one here, and then I could carry them and off I go. But there's really not a spot I can put until I'm back in here maybe. I could extend it and, and put one about here. So here would be one, and I put the other one here, and it's not gonna be balanced and such. So, some limitations with the, uh, the the product and such. For the right ladder, it could be definitely a real a real tool that you are going to put on your ladder and use and love. For other ladders, it may not be the greatest fit in the world. Well, again, we'll put the link in the description below so you can go out to the website and you can kind of check things out and see if it's gonna be something that will fit the ladders you're using around your household. This is John Young with The Weekend Handyman. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.